Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. It's Marcia. Guess what? I'm your In the Trenches CEO caregiver coming back to answer all your questions. And this channel is de dedicated to doing just that. Ask me anything. So before we get started, what do I always say? Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I am new to YouTube. And so, yeah, when I say new, I mean, this is my first week. <laughs> So the idea is to try to answer the questions that I am constantly getting week after week after week. And so put it in a place because if you're asking, somebody else is asking. So what are today's pearls of wisdom? One of the questions that I got asked this week um, was, how do I know what kind of house to buy to start my assisted living in a residential community? And so that's a really great question. Um before you actually go out and buy anything, uh, you have to determine your neighborhood that you particularly want to serve. And it would behoove you to do some kind of market analysis to see who the other uh, communities are that's already there, who they're serving. And the second thing you want to do is kind of look at the zoning requirement. Um, here in the state of Florida, there is a zoning requirement. Um, a particular community can't be close to another community and they give you particular parameters. So you need to understand that as well before you run out and buy a house. What I've discovered is um, individuals decide, oh, I'm going to find a really beautiful home in a beautiful neighborhood. They close on it, have this huge overhead. And then, of course, it takes a while to ramp up a business, any business. And um, you end up just feeding this alligator for a long time. So in terms of, you know, logistics, I would say when you're looking at a community, a home that you're going to start your business, uh, number one, make sure there are essential services nearby. Um, I remember meeting this one lady many, many moons ago, and she had her community that she inherited a home from her mom, and she just decided to turn it into a community. Um, I think she closed down within a year or two because guess what? She was way out there in the boonies where the cows are. Essential services were not nearby. Um, so if you can't get an ambulance to get to you relatively quickly or fire department, um, your families, you wanna make it easy so that your families can come and visit their loved ones. So those are the things that you wanna look at. And the second thing you wanna look at is, oh, for heaven's sake, make it one story. I remember hearing of, of this uh, potential provider. They were looking at getting a two-story home. Well, two things are wrong with that logic. Number one, you can't expect your seniors to go up and down the stairs. And even if you put a stair lift, that's a huge liability in my opinion. Um, but the second thing is, why would you do that to your staff, right? Why do you want them running up and down stairs all day long? The job is hard enough. So yeah, you definitely want something on one story that can accommodate the number of clients that you want to serve. So that would be my quickie on answering that question about what kind of house you want to get. So until next time, with more pearls of wisdom, go be awesome. <laughs>